This mindset collection contains adult language, mature themes, and some content that may not be appropriate for younger audiences. Hey guys, it's Maggie Lindemann, and right now I'm in a underground basement studio, <laughs> and I'm feeling excited to do this, but I'm also feeling kind of nervous. There is so much that I've always wanted to say to people. Even in my daily conversations, I have so much to say, but I always hold back because I don't want to freak anyone out. My whole thing is I've always hidden such a big part of my life and who I am from the internet because I have this idea that if people don't know anything about me and they hate me, then it's fine because you don't actually know me. But... If you know stuff about me and you hate me for that, I hate that because I don't want like my actual self to get hurt, if that makes sense. I obviously give off like a specific look. Dark, rocker, weird, mysterious, whatever you want to call it. That's like my stage presence. I want you to be a little bit like, what is this? I like the idea of being unapproachable. Is she gonna be mean? She has like this resting bitch face and is she mean? Is she nice? With the way I was treated growing up, it gives me a sense of, I feel like no one would ever want to do me wrong because of the way I present myself. I feel like I have like a little bit of power if I'm unapproachable or something. That's like one side of me, but there's a huge side of me that's sensitive and empathetic and emotional. I don't like to fight with people. I don't like to be mean. <laughs> By the way, guys, I'm not mean. I'm approachable. It's just my face. <laughs> There's also the side that's like not so serious. My personality is very bubbly. Like I'm very hyper. I'm crazy ADHD. I'm all over the place all the time. I'm really sensitive. I cry a lot. <laughs> I'm very much not just a shrug it off type of person. I feel things really, really hard and I have like really, really bad days. I have always struggled with not feeling good enough. Something that really drives me crazy is people will try to invalidate things that have happened to me. The most recent thing was someone found a picture of me from when I was a cheerleader and they started saying, oh, you clearly weren't bullied, like you were a cheerleader. And it's like, what is this, a movie? Just because I made the cheer team because I could tumble because I did gymnastics since I was a little kid does not mean all of a sudden I was popular. Stuff like that, it makes me scared to talk about it anymore because the idea that someone could get online and be like, oh, you were pretty, there's no way you were bullied. It doesn't matter what you look like. The family you come from, it, none of that matters. Don't feel like anyone can invalidate your experience because of how you look or who you come from or whatever. Anyone can be bullied. People feel like I have everything they want and I know I'm extremely privileged and I'm extremely lucky to be in the position I'm in. I don't want to at all make anyone feel like I'm trying to say that my problems are bigger than yours or I don't want to invalidate anyone or make anyone feel like I want a pity party. I just want to talk about myself and have real connections with people. And if someone listens to this and they feel like they relate to it or they feel like a connection, that's like amazing. I've always wanted to talk about my life, dive deeper into it and talk about things that I probably wouldn't just talk about on Instagram, but I've never had the platform or a place to talk about it. Hopefully you won't relate to a lot of this stuff because, you know, it sucks and I don't wish anyone to go through anything bad in their life, but I don't know, I want to be humanized a little bit and I want to unglamorize my life and make it just feel real and authentic. 
I also just want to get a lot of this stuff off my chest because I feel like I've just been sitting with it my whole life and I'm just like ready to talk about it. I'm going to be talking about my upbringing, how my life was in high school, bullying, some of my traumas, my mental health struggles, my depression. Please be easy on me, I guess. I don't know if I'm going to say everything perfectly, but I'm going to do my best. Just remember how you feel when you're talking about something you're nervous about. Thank you guys for supporting me. I love you. See you guys next episode.